Neanderthals living near today's Madrid might have used hyena pelts as part of their clothing to keep warm in the cold mountains of the Iberian Peninsula. While it was previously thought that these ancient humans mainly wore skins from deer or cows, recent discoveries suggest they also used the furs of more dangerous animals, including carnivores. This new insight comes from the Naval Mailo Rock Shelter, identified as a Neanderthal hunting camp since its discovery in 2002. The site, dating back between 66,000 and 83,000 years ago, contained remains of many plant-eating animals with signs of having been expertly butchered and skinned by Neanderthals. Among these findings was a hyena paw bone with markings that could have been made by Neanderthal tools, though these marks could also be from bites or trampling by other animals. To clarify the origin of these markings, researchers used an artificial intelligence AI algorithm that can distinguish between marks made by humans and those caused by natural events. The AI identified all marks on the hyena bone as cut marks made by Neanderthal tools, indicating the animal was skinned, likely for its fur, based on the placement and direction of the marks. Importantly, the bone wasn't broken for marrow, suggesting the hyena was not used for food, but solely for its pelt. The study authors propose that the hyena fur was a valuable resource for the Neanderthals living in the chilly, high-altitude camp to survive the freezing conditions, possibly used alongside fire and as part of their clothing or bedding. Since the 1980s, a major focus in the study of human evolution has been on how early humans and large meat-eating animals interacted. Initially, experts used new methods in studying old bones and remains to figure out whether early humans were hunters who actively sought their food or scavengers who took leftovers from other predators, like big cats. The goal was to understand who brought animal remains to places where early humans lived and who might have taken leftovers from these spots. Scientists aimed to piece together whether early humans were at the top of the food chain, hunting for their meals, or if they relied more on scavenging from other animals. Besides the debate on whether early humans were mainly hunters or scavengers, there are other ways they could have interacted with large meat-eaters. One possibility is that early humans and these animals lived together in a way that mainly benefited humans, leading to the taming of some of these animals. This idea comes from studies suggesting that humans began to tame wild animals towards the end of the Ice Age. Moreover, it's also possible that early humans and these large predators competed for food or that early humans scavenged from animals that predators had killed. Evidence for these kinds of interactions includes findings of large predator bite marks on human bones and signs that humans had processed bones of these predators. However, such evidence is rare in archaeological sites. There have been notable discoveries of human bones with bite marks from large predators in different parts of the world, showing that this interaction happened across various environments and times. These findings are important, but because there are so few human remains that show this kind of modification by predators, it's hard to say definitively if these were cases of hunting or scavenging. Throughout the Ice Age, especially in its earlier and middle parts, it was uncommon to find evidence that early humans had modified the remains of large meat-eating animals, although such evidence becomes slightly more common in later periods. During this time, several sites across Europe show clear signs of human activity, suggesting that humans were actively involved in processing these animals. In the Middle Ice Age of Europe, while it was common for Neanderthals to have primary access to plant-eating large animals, evidence of their interaction with large meat-eaters is scarce. Yet, various processing activities such as skinning and bone-breaking 
were identified on the remains of these large predators, indicating selective utilization by humans. The rarity of modified predator remains in archaeological sites might be due to several reasons, including the risks involved in hunting these dangerous animals and the potential for disease transmission from consuming their meat. Additionally, the lower population of these predators in ecosystems could contribute to their scarce representation in archaeological findings. Despite this, evidence from contemporary hunter-gatherer groups suggests that hunting predators did occur, indicating that Neanderthals likely chose their prey based on environmental conditions and their own needs, usually favoring larger plant-eating animals over smaller ones or predators. However, a few archaeological sites have revealed a significant number of bear remains with marks indicating human processing, suggesting that bears were an important resource for Neanderthals. The findings from these sites highlight the unique nature of human interaction with carnivores in the archaeological record and suggest that Neanderthals exploited these animals for various resources, primarily for their pelts. Recent advancements in technology, specifically the application of artificial intelligence through deep learning algorithms, offer new ways to analyze and interpret these interactions. This technology aims to automatically classify images of archaeological finds, potentially reducing the subjectivity in identifying marks made by humans on animal remains and providing deeper insights into early human behavior. The discovery of Neanderthals, using the skins of carnivorous animals like hyenas for clothing, adds a new layer to our understanding of these ancient humans. Previously, evidence of Neanderthals utilizing animals such as cave lions in Germany for food or clothing was rare, making these findings particularly significant, while hyena remains have been discovered at other Neanderthal sites in Spain, indicating they were butchered for meat, and in France, where modified bones may have served a symbolic purpose or even a form of numerical notation, the case at Naval Mailo Rock Shelter is unique. It's the first instance suggesting a hyena was used solely for its fur. The study from Naval Mailo opens up discussions about the potential symbolic meaning behind using carnivore pelts among Neanderthals, a topic that is still under debate among researchers. Despite this intriguing possibility, the current evidence from Naval Maillo suggests the use of the hyena pelt was primarily driven by practical needs rather than symbolic reasons, pointing towards an opportunistic approach to survival strategies by Neanderthals. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.